First World Order Radio, final lead, final lead. We are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. And others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. State of human concerns and existence, and a definite multitude, quantity, or distance. Order. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Radio. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. <laughs> Peace, peace, peace. All right, we're going to get it started. Um, but before we get into the main subject, the topic, um, one of the issues that's been flowing around on Facebook this past week uh, was not just the fact of the tornadoes hitting out in Oklahoma and Kansas area, um, but also um, the fact of black women have been written off as being um the ugliest of women. Now, of course, um, you know, they didn't specify, you know, certain points of that particular article. I think the person who actually wrote the article is in jeopardy of losing his job. But, of course, you know, we have to think about um, the editor in which that um, told him to go on and put that to print. But regardless, the fact is that a lot of our sisters, the majority of our sisters are emulating someone else. All right? Um, In other words, they are emulating Dalby on a European woman. All right? With the straight hair, the light-colored eyes, which is a trait of uh, recessivity. Um, They don't realize and don't know the signs of genetics. So um, being that sex is just being treated to a bump and grind, you know, and R. Kelly, um, you remind me of your Jeep, you know what I'm saying, type of thing. What is going on is that um, the women do not understand true beauty, and that true beauty starts from the inside and manifests outward. In other words, um, we're going to get on the topic tonight is how to bring forth that inner beauty, that Kundalini serpentine fire, that mother goddess principle, um, in which that is bundled up within her at the base of the spine and show how to raise it up through um, those particular chakras, seven chakras, nine chakras, 12 chakra systems, as we begin to move towards 2012, and how to emanate that energy outward through one's auric field, and that is the science of actual attraction, all right? And the mind is the magnifier, all right? So if your thoughts or on healing, if your thoughts are on abundance, 
positive, your thoughts are on success, and you radiate that through your auric field, then that is what you will have. All right? Now, the sisters have to begin to start understanding genetics. Straight here is recessive. All right? These are things that I learned in the sixth grade from a European, from our beyond woman. Light eyes are recessive. All right? Pale skin is recessive. These are things in which that I was taught in public school from a white woman, from Albion. And even then, when we was going through that, I wondered if any of the sisters really got the perfect understanding, the overstanding, the understanding of what she was actually saying. Because at that time, the Jerry girl was real big. So, you know, we had a lot of Jerry kids in the class. All right? And um majority of them was women. So um, the fact is is that if you notice the commercials in which that the Albion puts out through Hollywood, the various commercials which deal with, remember now, commercials deal with advertisement, subliminal suggestion, um, programming. And you would see that on the majority of those commercials that the Albion puts out, you would see Moorish women or Moabitess or so-called black women with natural hair. So they don't have a problem with showing women being natural. They don't have a problem with showing women in their natural or netter or netteret state. The sisters, as well as the brothers, we have all gone through the Willie Lynch syndrome or what is called, now we are suffering from post-traumatic slavery syndrome, as it is said. And this mentality is supposed to be broken. This Willie Lynch is supposed to be broken. Remember, the spell supposedly only have lasted 300 years, according to Willie Lynch, which was supposedly an individual who came to the shores of the King James Banks, in the year of 1712, he stated that he had a foolproof plan in which that would be sound economics for the slave masters, in which that um, the spell, in which that will, the spell will last 300 years. So if you take 1712 plus 300, that would end during 2012 A.D. This is one of the reasons why all of this information is coming to breast and coming out. And that correlates to the Omec Mayan calendar, specifically during the time of what is called December the 21st, 2012 A.D., in which that we would see an alignment take place. This past uh, May 21st, 2011, just a few days ago, many was running around the country, possibly even the world, from this European Christian stating that the world was going to end, the rapture was coming, Jesus was returning. And this is the data which he came up with based on his calculations, based on his formula. Well, it didn't take place. What did take place, though, was the earth was in perfect alignment with Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Mercury is the planet of communication technology, transmitting energies. The name Mercury is the Greco-Roman um, name in which that correlates to also to Quicksilver, in which that means rapid progress or messages being delivered. The biblical form of Mercury would be Gabriel the archangel who always was sent on the mission to planet Earth in order to relay messages to the human beings. The ancient comedic connection would be Geb, the son of Tefnut 
and Shu, who were the children of Atum. So, then we have Mars, which is known as the warrior planet, which is also known as the planet of war, violence. The war is still taking place on planet Earth. However, war just don't have to prevail, being that the planet Venus was also in perfect alignment, and Venus symbolizes the planet of love. So that means there's two messages in which that is being carried out upon planet Earth. One is war. The other is love. Now, as a more Prophet Noble Drali, we are taught, stated that we must uplift fallen humanity and we must teach humanity how to love instead of hate. This is what this conjunction symbolizes, this perfect alignment that took place May 21st. This is what is meant by the message or consciousness was returning. It wasn't a European or a so-called white man that was returning, as the European always get caught up into the literal story, thinking that it's historical, when it's actually an allegorical story. So that means the post-Satan energy that is that was coming or that has came was based on the principle of love or the principle of war. For those that are resonating in their higher self, they receive the love. For those that's resonating in their lower self, they receive the war. In other words, it was the battle between the lower self and the higher self, Set and Heru, once again being shown throughout the heavens. And the earth is the playground. Okay? Now, when we also get into um, this 2012 alignment, which that's supposed to be coming December the 21st for three days and three nights, the sun's supposed to be blacking out as we pass through the dark rift and come out on the other side of the photon belt. That is also symbolic to the graduation of the planet Earth and this solar system from a third dimension, fourth dimension, into a fifth dimension. The third dimension is based on length, width, and height. The fourth dimension is based on depth, which is time and space. And the fifth dimension is based on energy. We are fourth dimensional beings. How can you tell? As I said on um, Know the Ledge um, last night, for those that got a chance to listen to it, Blue Pill and Red Pill show, um, you will... Notice that the old antennas on the back of the TVs or on the TVs uh, before the remote control now, you know, some of y'all might be old enough to remember those, that the straight antennas symbolize straight hair, link hair, in which that old was only able to tap into very high frequency or VHF, which was channel 2 to channel 13. And these channels was called Hertz. And hertz means frequencies. Now, for those that had the hair that's shaped like the ohm antenna, and the reason why the ohm sound is chanted by the Tibetan monks, the Buddhist monks, the Shaolin monks, the yogi practitioners, that ohm is because that is the natural sound on which that we resonate at. And those that do it, a lot of times they have that very high frequency structured hair. Some refer to it as fur. I'm not here to debate. I'm just simply here to put forth information. You get it, you get it. If you don't, keep it in the back of your mind. Be skeptical until other pieces come in order to connect those pieces for you. Because all of this thing is in life is a puzzle. You must be all right with the pieces that you gather along your journey. I can't gather them for you. I can simply teach you or show you certain things. You yourself will have to put these things together and feel secure within the knowledge in which that you have gathered 
and realize that this is information that you can take on with you after you leave the physical body. Because the first principle of Tahuti is the law of mentalism. The all is mind and everything in the universe is mental. All right? So, this energy in which that is being pulsated from the central sun in the Pleiades called Alcyon is going to be in perfect alignment with our, um, with Sirius as well as also with our solar system. Our solar system travel around Sirius every 26,000 years approximately, as it does around the central sun in the Milky Way galaxy every 26,000 years. We are now coming back to an end of a 26,000-year period. Only Elijah Muhammad referred to a 25,000-year renewal of history, in which that he referred to it as the Holy Quran, and you can find us within the student enrollment lessons or the 120 of the Nation of Gods and Earth. So, the word Holy Quran means sun cycle. And the sun has finished off his cycle, and we are now entering into a new cycle called the Age of Aquarius. We're leaving the Age of Pisces, which is the Age of Mortars, and we're going into the Age of um Heru, which is Aquarius, which is the age of light, the age of knowing. So it's not going to be suffice for you to know. You will have to live it. You have to not just be able to expound on the light. You have to be the light. All right? Um, the Holy Quran, Circle 7, also speaks of this. So... Once this perfect alignment take place during December the 21st, 2012 AD, this is why all these alignments, all of these um, lunar eclipses and solar eclipses are taking place leading up to that. And the reason why they are said that some of these disasters are taking place, of course, we know that some of this is man-made due to the harp system. You can do your own research on that. However, um, there's some things in which they, they are trying to fake and pull off in conjunction to um, this nonsense in which that they just played um, May 21st because who put him on TV? Who put this out on TV in order to get people um, in an uproar about this white Jesus coming back? Okay? These are things that we have to think about. All right. Now, the things leading up to this is something that we spoke about already, which we're dealing with specifically, specifically now, was Lord Maitreya. During 2009, actually, November 2008, um, when Obama was, excuse me, was running for the presidency, and he got inaugurated. Months later, this Lord Maitreya character comes on TV, and it's not really him. What is being said is that if you have seen these lights in the sky, which talking about the UFOs or the light vehicles or aircrafts or whatever they want to refer to them as, I say man-made UFOs in, in a lot of regards. They stated that all of these lights are contributed to this character, Lord Maitreya, and that he's the world teacher. He is the Buddha, the Christ, the Lord, um, the Lord of Lords, the Kings of Kings, in a sense. Um, that he was the Mahdi of Islam. He was Krishna, or the ninth incarnation of Vishnu, from the Hindu Sanskrit teachings. Every religion in which that is expecting someone to return to save them, he is the composite character of all of this throughout the various mythologies and allegories. All of these fictional characters, he is stating that's who he is. 
Now, you got to understand that these are thought forms and thoughts of things. That means that these thought forms in which that people have been generating for the last 2,000 years or so, he's saying that he is the embodiment of them. Because remember, thoughts are things, and we are all thoughts, according to Chapter 1 of the um, creation and the fall of man of the Holy Quran, Circle 7. It says man is the thought of Allah, and all thoughts of Allah are infinite. You know, they are not measured, you know, up by time or for things that are concerned with time. Begin and end. The thoughts of Allah are everlasting of the past until the never-ending day to come. And so is man, the spirit man. All right? So we have to realize this. All right? We have to realize this, that this is what we're working with. So that means certain rituals were performed. Just like with Obama. Obama is an amalgamation of all of the royal bloodlines on the planet from the various nations. The African, which is the Kenyan, from out of Mobasa, where he actually was born at. As you know, um, that's what the real birth certificate would say. As well as you heard lately, you heard something lately here about his Irish connection. He is the um, cousin, you know, to George Bush and Dick Cheney. And they are connected to the royal bloodline of England. Then um, there's supposedly Jewish connections, as well as also um, connections to um, Indonesia, Hawaii, and it's even said that he is the biological son of Knight, the man who betrayed Patrice Lumumba. But that he is the biological son of Malcolm X. If you see, um, if you read certain information, um, that's on the net. You will see this information which I'm talking about. Also, Phil Valentine also brought this information out a couple of years ago. And it's something that we definitely need to look into. Because when he came to Fayetteville, North Carolina, I went to go see him. In front of an audience of over 10,000 people, he started he started quoting Malcolm X. We've been hoodwink, bamboozled, run amok, led astray. He was doing all of this. Quoting Malcolm X, who he stated. The book, Malcolm X's autobiography, written by Alex Haley, was his favorite book. We have to look into these things. So this... So Obama and his character, Lord Maitreya, are intimately connected to establishing this new world order. And this correlates to the Project Blue Beam, in which that we talked about before, in which that um, they plan on faking an alien attack or invasion. Now, the Star Wars program that was set up by Ronald Reagan in the 80s, like I said, him and Gorbachev, was in front of the media on TV, on the news, stating that if there was ever a time in which that they would have to put down their dislikes, it would come when, if the world was possibly under attack from outside or alien um, outside attack, in reference to alien attack. Now, what is attacking the planet Earth at this particular time is solar flares, super flares, Mega flares in which that can possibly knock out the electronics, satellites, computers, all types of things, and actually put us back into the dark ages. Because right now everything is running on technology or electronics. 
and this is the attack in which they, they actually were referring to. However, the ploy is by the Illuminati is to make you think that the ploy is actually from UFOs or an attack outward from that type of manner. Now, there are UFOs in which that are here, in which that are, I'm checking things out. But even then, you have to raise yourself up in order to even see them. You have to raise yourself up above the heart chakra and even to communicate and even see them or to have any type of connection to them. In other words, you must do the inner work. So a lot of people put a lot of time on trying to find out if aliens exist or things outside of themselves, you know. And this is one of the ploys in which that the Illuminati has set up. The more that you focus on something outside of yourself, the more they can continue taking over and doing what they need to do to the planet because they know that you, yourself, is the Christ and that you, yourself, have the ability in order to uplift fallen humanity by being a prime example and a conductor of this electromagnetic energy. 300,000 tons of stardust energy force to the planet Earth daily. You, as a melanated being, have the ability in order to absorb this if you are in tune and if your body is functioning properly. You have to get rid of the toxins and the waste from out your body. Now, you are being bombarded by toxins and waste on a daily, pollutions, poisons in the water, in the air, the chemtrails, you know, all these things are being done. Be broke down in the chemtrails is aluminum, barium, bacterial spores. And be pretty sure that these bacterial spores is being spawned in order to eliminate genetically. In other words, it's part of population control agenda. Aluminum in the body, when it becomes accumulated within the brain, is Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, and can develop into muscular cirrhosis. All right? Barium is a carcinogenic. In other words, a toxin in which that can cause cancer once it is once it is have access inside of the body. So these are the chemicals in which that they are predominantly dropping on the masses of the people. I've gone throughout the world. I've seen chemtrails all over the world. I've gone to Canada. They are there. I've gone to Mexico. They are there. Here, and here throughout the country, um, and what we refer to as the United States, they are there. I've gone to from New York to California to Florida. They are there. I've gone to London. They are there. Germany. They are there. All right, so this is not just United States mass vaccination like some of the militaries have stated. All of the governments of the world are doing this to their people because they fear the rise of a messiah. And in specifically, the FBI report states that they fear the rise of a black messiah. And this is where this really comes in at. As we raise in consciousness, the reptilian's agenda is to stop the raising, to stop the resurrection, to stop the ascension. And the way they can do it is first to start to attack the genitals, which is correlated to the resurrection, the erection. Because it's there through the genitals that life is born, that life is started. That life is reproduced. That life can be regenerated. You can be healed through that principle. This is why we speak of Tao sexology. This is why we speak of Tantra or Tantra Kriya Yoga. Getting the book by Grandmaster, 10th degree, Sanyata Saraswati, my teacher. His student also, Master Montachia. Videos by myself or Brother Kair, Coach Kair Love, or by Montachia's student also, uh, Wayne Chandler. These are actual 
practices that you can do on a daily basis to enhance your auric cell, to strengthen it. Because the way in which that we're being attacked, there's a lot of holes and leaks within the auric cell. A lot of these negative thought forms in which that people are producing can become attached to an auric cell and cause these leaks and holes. Within the astral plane, they're called succubus and incubus in which that has a tendency of sucking forth the life force and leaving you drained. So, we have to realize that the first principle of Tahuti is the law of mentalism. Once again, the whole is mind and everything is mental in the universe. Thought travels at 24 billion miles per second. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Sound travels at 1,120 feet per second. Solids are packed together tightly, then liquid and gases. So hence, sound travels fastest in solids, and sound helps form geometrical shapes. This is what is meant by, in the book of John, that the word was made flesh. Now, if you get, um, go to the Holy Quran, Sukkot 7, um, I think it's chapter 7. It's called The Friendship of Jesus and Lamas. And um, it says, the holy breath is truth. Is that which was and is and evermore shall be. It cannot change or pass away. And I think Lama said, um, you answer well. Now what is man? And Jesus said, um, man is truth and falsehood strangely mixed. Man is breath made flesh. So truth and falsehood are conjoined in him, and they strive and not goes down. And man has truth. Abides. So the whole science in which that the breath is the what can harmonize you. It's the breath in which that um, brings forth the peace, the inner peace in which that the reflection is the outer peace. The breath is what merges the lower self with the higher self to become one self, no longer having a dualistic mind thinking in the left or right hemisphere apparatus, but having a holistic brain with those dendrites and synapses firing off and connecting points, putting together the pieces of this puzzle. So we know that the cause of all disease has its roots in the brain via the mind, and it's only there that lies the cure of all diseases. Understand that the intelligence is not simply in the head, though. All right? The mind is expressed at the subatomic, atomic, molecular, cellular, tissue, muscular, and the cell levels, all seven levels. The same mind, you know what I'm saying? The same mind is in our central nervous system, our genes, DNA, antibodies, enzymes, and hormones. They're all expression of the intelligence. In other words, the mind exists not only in the brain, but throughout the whole body. As a matter of fact, if I take a flake of skin, a spot of blood, one drop of spittle, spit, if I take a strand of hair, I can clone a whole nother you in existence. That means each cell has the potentiality of the whole being that you are at that particular point. So everything that you have learned from conception to that point of being cloned, as we would say, will be reflected through those particular items or personal traits that we just talked about. That means that the cells actually, all 76 trillion cells that compose your physical body actually are holograms. And what does hologram needs to survive? And the hologram needs light. That's how hologram survives. So the light is the primary source of energy. All right? Now, we're talking about holistic now. So when I say primary, I'm just saying that it's first, not the last. Primary. All right? So every thought you have activate a 
messenger molecule in your brain. That means that every mental impulse gets transformed automatically into biological um, information. The negative seeds in the form of anger, fear, which is false evidence appearing real, lust, greed, jealousy, envy, hatred, or attachment takes root in whatever organ is depleted of energy. These negative or lower emotions will manifest via the mind in the body. For example, the liver stores anger. The kidneys store fear. The lungs store disappointment, depression. The pancreas stores sadness. The the loss or the des um the loss of the desire to live. The heart stores hatred. The brain stores stress. The genital stores rejection. Etc. All right, when you go to the Bible, the Holy Bible, which means the Sun Book, Sun Papers, Raw Papyrus or Raw Paper Raw, that's what is that's what is the summary of is the Book of Coming Forth by Daniel Knight, Miss Nomic by Wallace E. Budge as the Book of the Day. If you go to Job, I think it's three twenty five. Job states that for the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me. And that which I was afraid of is come upon me. And thus, if the mind is not ready and willing to change consciously and subconsciously, then the illness will not be cured. Or we may only achieve temporary relief. One may wish to be healthy. However, if you have never recognized the core or the heart of the illness that is being expressed, which is nothing more than an aspect of your own mind, and, you, and if you never recognize it, then wishing to be healthy isn't going to do anything for you. We must reteach ourselves to stay healthy and well. So one of the things you can do is by repeating positive affirmation, decree certain prayers. For example, by saying, I am vibrantly healthy at least two to 300 times a day, ingraining that within from the conscious into the subconscious mind. Remember, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's fantasy. All it does is program and um, and accept the information which that you've taken in. And if you don't know how to constantly put a hold to negative information, then it would take that in too. However, by stating positive affirmation, these creeds and certain prayers, you are creating new chemical biological information through your genes and DNA forming your own psychic self-defense against any external weapon. And that's what is meant in the Bible about putting on your armor of God. All right? So then we, we look at the seven main colors in which that uh, forms the um, the colors of the sunlight. We got um, what is called Roy G. Biz. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All right? These particular colors correlate specifically to um, healing certain portions of your body. It is also correlate to the certain colors of food in which that you eat. This is why you must have um, a healthy-looking salad. The green portions of the salad symbolizes activating the heart chakra, which deals with healing, renewal, regeneration. All right, the carrots in it, which are orange, symbolizes nurturing of the navel chakra. This is one of the places that we as so-called black people have been disconnected from is our nurturing, our role as nurturers on the planet. And that's because of the things which that was done to us during slavery and the post-slavery traumatic experience and syndrome in which that we are experiencing as you are listening to me speak. Okay? Now, 99% of all disease manifests as direct or indirect result of negative programming of the lower mind. Diseases are caused by two problems, specifically toxicity and or deficiency. In other words, too much excess or too little decreased. First, the mind must be corrected. 
Hence, this is what is meant, that your sins must be forgiven in the Bible. In other words, your ignorance. Remember, my people die for a lack of knowledge. So you must get your knowledge up, and then you must practice what you preach. Remember, knowledge or knowing is only half of the battle. The other half is the application through your various experiences. Overstand this. All right? Diseases are caused by those two things. So you must visualize, be able to visualize at least 15 minutes per day, three times a day, morning, um, after you're awake, noon, um, during lunch break if you have a job or whatever, and before going to bed. You must visualize the literal healing process such as your cells rejuvenating or affection clearing, and project yourself into the future and see yourself whole and healed. This is the science of metaphysics. Now, a person who has AIDS, now you know what the problem is with AIDS, it's called acquired um, immune deficiency syndrome. AIDS actually is an umbrella term for all and any of 25 previously known diseases or symptoms. This includes cancer, rheumatism, um, Causing um, 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 pneumonia, diarrhea, um, herpes, uh, weight loss, night sweats, rashes, swellings, lymph glands, all of that. If the um, HIV antibodies are detected, then they say that you have what? Positive result, um, positive, um, tested positive for the HIV virus, hence the disposition towards AIDS. All right? Now, we know that being HIV positive does not necessarily lead to an AIDS diagnosis, all right? However, being that it comes up with 25 different diseases and, and um, symptoms, the major key for AIDS actually linked directly to not loving yourself, not having self-love, not having self-worth, not having self-appreciation. It occurs when we are unable to love ourselves, and especially when we are unable to accept our own gender or sex. All right? This is why I was put first amongst who? Supposedly, those so-called Trojan men in 1979 on the streets of New York. It was over 700 of them who were shot up with what is now called the AIDS virus. Of course, we know that that's just a combination of various names. So, what is the matter that you have to learn about the science of AIDS? You have to learn how to love yourself, so you have to say to yourself that you love yourself. I am love. You have to put the I am principle into it. All right, we go to Exodus, um, the book of Exodus, which speaks about um, Moses was asking God, well, whom shall I say is sending me? And suppose that God replied, I am that which that I am. In Hebrew, it is Ea, Asher, Ea. Asher is Asa. Okay? That is the comedic connection. So you must recite this hundreds of times a day to embed it inside of your psyche, your subconscious mind. And then through certain breath techniques, you can take it into the superconscious, into the magnetic conscious, and into the infinite consciousness. This is why the science of breath is so important, because the breath takes you into deeper levels of consciousness within the nation of gods and earth, they speak about the five stages of consciousness. They speak of consciousness, subconsciousness, superconsciousness, magnetic consciousness, and infinite consciousness. I add in two more, which is intrapersonal consciousness and interpersonal consciousness to make seven. And it's based on the science of breath. Eighteen breaths is the average person breath pattern, and that correlates to the breath of 
interpersonal consciousness, which deals with me, myself, and I type of principle. Intrapersonal consciousness deals with friends and associates, um, able to see um, the spirit of God in animals and so forth and so on, not want to litter the planet Earth, and that is broken into half of the 18 to 9 breaths a minute. Then consciousness, which is life consciousness, is broken down to um, 7.5 breaths a minute. Subconsciousness is broken down to 6 breaths a minute. Superconsciousness is broken down to 4.5 breaths a minute. Magnetic consciousness is broken down to 3 breaths a minute. And infinite consciousness is broken down to 1 breath a minute. So once you learn the science of breath, you will know how to embed these particular thoughts deeper into the very psyches, the various psyches or the various conscious centers of your mind. Next is lung disease. We said earlier that lung disease comes through a person who is depressed or disappointed. That's where the energy is stored at so you can visualize the lungs relax, elastic and whole, filled with the golden healing light. High blood pressure, which is hypertension, um, that comes from anger. So you can visualize your blood vessels become larger in diameter, and your blood pressure read and register at a normal 120 over 60. Diabetes. The pancreas excretes um, insulin, in which that helps break down the, um, the proteins, the fat, and the um, carbohydrates. And the mental or the metaphysical, emotional cause for the pancreas problems is, like we said, is stored um, emotional blockages. In particular, um, the sweetness has gone out of the life. The spark, the, um, the spice or the zest of life is missing. So you can visualize yourself in nature, you know what I'm saying, a place in which that is so beautiful to you, you know. Um, and by visualizing this, you know, now you can concentrate your energies on your pancreas organ, which is actually your solar plex area, and you can place your hands there and heal the liver, pancreas, and spleen for 30 minutes, three times a day. All right? You can rub your hands together like Mr. Miyagi did on Karate Kid, if you've ever seen the movie, back in the days. By doing that, what happens is that you activate your hand chakras. So that as the energy comes down through the top of your head, it is transmitted to the heart and out to the um, arms and to the hands and to the various areas in which that you're touching. To help with that process, we talked about pranic breathing, which is 6363, six, three, and we said you can breathe in for a count of six, hold it for three, breathe out for a count of six, hold it for three, or it's 7171. One. You can breathe in for a count of seven, hold it for one count, out for seven counts, hold it for one count. And you will repeat both of those or either or, I should say, 100 times a day. What that does is expand your auric field 10 to 15 feet outside of you, which normally the average person auric field is less than 3 feet outside of their physical body. So it, it improves the immune system. It boosts, boosts the immune system. It also gives you the abilities of attractive or magnetic qualities. All right? A person who suffered cancer and tumors, all right, uh, that comes from uh, rejection, abandonment, humiliation, betrayal, and injustice. So some people have endured a number of combinations of these wounds. And if you hold on to them and you don't never forgive yourself because forgiveness is the great healer, you know what I'm saying, then this is what will happen. So you can visualize um, the color blue. Um, the color blue transforms anger, light blue. Then you can use um, that color blue like a laser beam and bombard the um, cancer area or tumor as you place your hands on that particular area. All right, same thing. Um, then you can visualize the golden um, light um, decreasing and um, removing the rest of that. And the golden light is is the gold, um, is the um, God's sun energy color, which is used for healing and regenerating. All right? And then after that, once you feel that everything has been removed, then you can use the green light into the area. 
and um, it will cultivate the growth of healthy um, new cells and tissue. All right, so a person who has heart disease, um, heart disease is the manifestation, of, um, you know what I'm saying, of hatred, as we said earlier, um, as well as also of not loving yourself. All right, so the key is, is to love yourself, and you can say, I am love also. All right, you can visualize the heart like a um fist size, because that's what it is, um, as a crystal, and you can clean um, all the dark spots off of it with the golden healing light, you know, and after you finish, you know, you see this crystal sparkling and glowing, you know, there's various sounds in which that you can hear, um, that you can use to heal um, the, um, the seven chakras, all right, or the nine chakras, or the 12 chakras. All right, some of us have graduated, and so we have more than others. There are certain organs in which that is being reinserted into the bodies now. Dr. Malakazi York L. spoke about the bed theory gland, in which that was once within the hippocampus area of the brain, and now it's been reinserted in the submental region of the chin. Dr. Deborah Blair speaks about the epiphany gland, which is located, which is a mound. Um, at the roof of the mouth in which that there's a hole in which that is in the center of that mound in which that um, goes directly into the third, that taps into the third ventricle of the brain where the, um, where the pineal gland overlooks the third ventricle of the brain. And when um, through certain meditation techniques or breath exercises or the sexual experience, um, this dew, this sweet dew, this honey, is excreted from the third ventricle and it comes down through that particular hole. That is a gift because that dew can actually regenerate your whole body by you swallowing it. All right. Um, Hilton Otima refers to it as chrysum, in other words, the chemical of Christ. All right. We call it the tear raw. That's what the ancient Kemites refer to it as, as the Tia Ra. Or the Dew of All Set. All right, now, the particular sounds in which that activates the various chakras, if you're coming down from the crown, it would be the I sound. I. And you would repeat um, that seven times. Um. Then go to the third eye, which is the E sound. E. Next is the throat, um, which is A. Next is the heart. O. Next is the solar plexus. O. Also the liver. Shh. The spleen. O. Next is the navel or the sacral, which is O. The O sound, and then last is um, the root chakra, which is the U sound. U. All right. So we spoke about these positive decrees, affirmations, and prayers, which is actually spells or mantras, which is also referred to as Hakau within the ancient Tamarian um, teachings, which means the sacred words of power. The words are used to remove evil principalities of darkness and hostility, um, hostile forces, all right? Um, like one of them is Ba Bek Banu. Ba Bek Banu. That's B A B A K B E N N U. Ba Bek Banu. It means the soul is transformed into the fiery bird. What this magic does is raise the Kundalini energy up. All right? The symbol is a dove, which is talking about the same dove that came over top of um, the head of Jesus as he was being baptized in the River Jordan. All this is allegorical. It is nothing more than a form of the soul, the Ba. All right? Which is also symbolic to the hawk, which is also symbolic to the phoenix, which symbolizes the rebirth of the spirit. Through the, um, or what is called the Holy Spirit, the Shekinah, the Dove. That's the protection of the soul through um, also 
as the eagle. Um, it symbolizes the awakening of the body, the spirit, and the soul through the phoenix power of resurrection. This mantra is sung at the pace of the heart. All right? So, boom, 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 boom. Ba, ben, ben, nu. Ba, back, ben, nu. Ba, back, ben, nu. Ba, back, ben, nu. Ba, back, ben, nu. And you would chant it in that way, and you can do that um, two and three hundred times a day. All right? You also have Heru Wajed. Heru Wajed means the light of the eye. And what you're doing is calling upon the all-seeing eye of Heru, which is the activation of the soul in the pineal gland. It promotes the flow of hormones such as melatonin and serotonin. We know that melatonin, is, according to Dr. Richard King, melanin, um, the Key to Freedom, as well as his other book, The Black Diet, as well as his other book, The African Origin of Biological Psychiatry, he states specifically in there that melatonin is excreted during the times of 11 p.m. at night to 7 a.m. in the morning, and serotonin is produced from 7 a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. at night. So the more energy that you absorb during the day um, through the sun is the energy that you can utilize at night to go into the dream world or the astral plane or, I, or either have out-of-body experiences, astral projections, or travels, or soul projections and travels. Okay, it can be utilized as a personal protection mantra against psychic attacks of any kind. It rejuvenates, revitalizes, and regenerates the body, soul, and spirit. All right? So, Heru Wajed. Heru Wajed. All right? Now, we know that, once again, that the word was made flesh. These words that we're talking about are sacred, comedic, or Tamarian, or Egyptian words, um, the metuneta, the sacred words of God, or the netas, the force of nature, in which that can be utilized um, and produced through your own voice, because your voice is what your body knows the most. That is the frequency in which that you came to resonate on is produced through the voice of you, through your very voice. That is the word of power. And we notice because you go to First Corinthians three sixteen, it says, "Do you not know that your body, um, that you excuse me, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you?" First Corinthians six nineteen through twenty said, "Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's." Second Corinthians six sixteen eighteen. For you are all the temple of the living God, and God have said I would dwell in them and walk amongst them. Second Corinthians thirteen five said, Do you not know yourself that Jesus Christ is in you? So I know a lot of y'all got caught up into this nonsense this past weekend with this um, May twenty first thing, thinking that the end of the world was coming and the rapture and white Jesus was coming out the sky. What returned based on the astrological alignment, was the beginning of Christ consciousness or the recognition of God in you. In the movie Matrix, remember, Morpheus showed Neo a battery, a Duracell battery, and he told Neo that this is all they think that we are to them, or this is all that we are to them. You know what I'm saying? Now, true, your physical body is a battery, but a battery needs to be alkaline. So when the battery is alive and output in electrical charge, it is alkaline. But when it is dead, it is acidic. What we know is that our body is about 25% acidic and 75% alkaline. And it's recommended that we consume roughly 25% acidic food and 75% alkaline food, which is electrical food. As our body is, what, 75% water and 25% mass, solid looking material, apparent solid. Of course, we know that the cells actually aren't solid. 99.9999% of um, your atom is actually empty space, potential energy, in which that through thought can make kinetic. However, when the body is too acidic, you may feel ill, sick, and suffer from ailments and disease or disease. So being that your body is 75% water, is very important of the type of water you intake. The water must be alkaline. So we have Brother Joel on again tonight to go more into the signs of alkaline water.
because your pH balance must be between 7.2 for the sisters to 7.4 for the brothers. And at this pH level, no disease can exist in the body. Hence, your food must mostly be alkaline, too, as we said, at least 75%. As we said, alkaline foods or electrical foods. The highest alkaline foods are lemons, limes, watermelons, cantaloupes, grapefruits, mangoes, papayas, broccoli, garlic, onions, and almonds, etc. The best um, herbs to cleanse in which that helps with the detox, the blood purifying and rebuilding herbs um, are um, golden seal, burdock, chaparral, chickweed, yellow dock, red clover, dandelion, alfalfa, milk thistle, myrrh, sea moss, kelp, corella, spirulina. Melanin must be viewed as a battery. It is partially charged. It can always accept an electrical charge when sunlight or other energy comes in contact with the melanin battery, it increases the charge of the battery to a certain degree. See, you got to realize on this third dimensional plane or on the third dimensional apparent third dimension of length, width, and height, if you get the Unk book, um, the introduction was um, by um, Brother Hiru Samaj. Um, Brother Unk um, states in there that Melanin in its current state, there's an energy gap between it. However, as we go into the fourth dimension, that gap will become filled as we become fourth dimensional beings and then eventually fifth dimensional beings after the um, December the, um, 21st, 2012, after this galactical alignment, the first in which that will happen within um, this 26,000 year um, period, or what, like we said, Elijah Muhammad said, 25,000 year renewal of history or Holy Quran. When the energy is captured, the battery has more energy to use in the body. This means that the human being can charge up their melanin, possess the unique ability to absorb various energy sources and convert their absorbed energies into reusable energy. This includes what? Musical vibrations, sound waves, the sun rays, sun heat, light rays, etc. In Dr. Frank Barr's theory, melanin, matter, ish, because remember, melanin is the physical counterpart of the spiritual soul. Melanin matter is shaped and structured by light. These molecular melanin combinations eat light in order to maintain, expand, and evolve matter. The more highly evolved a species, the more complex its biological cap um, capability or capacity is to use light. The sun is 93 million miles away from the earth. It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the sun rays to touch down to the earth's surface. It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the blood in our bodies to bathe the brain in its life-giving nutrients. So the head symbolizes the sun, hence the reason why you see in the old pictures the sun um, this, um, um, over the top of the head. The sun is the primary source of energy for us, and we need at least an hour of it daily to re-energize and rejuvenate and regenerate ourselves, our chakra system. So you times 8.20 seconds times 7, you come to 57 seconds and 40, oh, excuse me, 50 seconds, 57 minutes and 40 seconds, hence nearly an hour. This is what scientists say that we need. So if the sun is the primary source of energy, then what is the primary thing that we need to be doing in the rays? It is breathing. The average person can go without food for a month, two weeks without water, but only three minutes without breathing. Hence, the breath is the most important. All right? Now, we just finished showing you, according to um, Second Corinthians, that Jesus Christ is within you. Well, what are they talking about? What's the sound in which that we all make when we sneeze? Yes! Do you know that that is the Hebrew, Aramaic word for Yahshua, which is the original name of Jesus, which means salvation? So they encoded it in your very breath, the sound of God. When you sneeze, you're saying Yashu, which is Yahshua, which means salvation. The Lord who is salvation is talking about your breath. This is what this is what is meant in John fourteen six. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. Is the breath of life. The 
The breath affects the whole body. It affects the nervous system, the heart, the digestive system, muscles, sleep, energy levels, concentration, memory, and much more. The breath is also the largest system for waste removal. 70% of the waste product or produced in our bodies is supposed to be removed via breathing. 20% is removed via the skin, and only 10 remains from the kidneys, which is urination, and the digestive system, which is defecation. We not only breathe in oxygen, which is the eighth element on the periodical chart, which, of course, is eight protons, eight neutrons, eight electrons, which is, if you read Alistair Crawley's book, 777-888, is Christ. So also universal life force energy. That's what we breathe in. In Christianity, this universal life force energy is called the Holy Spirit. Old Christians tell you that it feels like fire shut up in my bones. This is chi in China, ki in Japan, prana within India, ra within the ancient Kemetic or Tamarian teachings. Ruach within um, Judaism, the Holy Spirit in Christianity. All right? Um, we're going to um, end right there, and we have a few questions. And um, we're going to go to the questions right now. We're going to go to 1074. You're now on the air. Hello, yes, peace. 1074. Yes, peace. Oh, no, just listening, brother. It's very interesting, man. No question. Just just listening. Okay. All right. Thank you, brother. We're going to go to um, 4562. 4562, you're now on the air. Yes. 4562, you're now on the air. You have a question? You're talking to me? Yes, I am. How you doing, brother? Hey brother, how you doing today, man? My name's Oh right, all right, all right. 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 You had your hand up, so um I'm trying to get the question. You had a question? No, I didn't have no question, man. You like um it's like throwing me, man, everything I'm hearing, man, you know, my boy, uh Joel Benjamin, you know what I'm saying? You know, right. he didn't want me to call the show. And you know all right. I represent, uh, you know, I'm a uh I, I mess with the kids down there in Kentucky, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, all right, brother. All right, all right. We doing it big down here. We we trying to get right. everybody turned on, but there's a lot of people out here asleep, man. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? True. A lot of people out here asleep, man. True. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. But what you just spit, man, you know what I'm saying? It just raised my consciousness to some other things, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Definitely did, man. Appreciate that. I showed. Hey, you know, we got plenty of more. <laughs> for sure. All right, thank you. Peace out. Um, the next caller is 3847. Um, excuse me, 2025. We're going to go to 2025. Yes, 2025. You have a question? A question two zero two five. You washed up good in between your butt and everything. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, zero um two zero two five. Yes, you're on the line. You're on the air. All right, we're gonna go to zero three four five. Um, zero three four seven. That's what it ends with, and um, you are now on the line. You have a question? Peace and greetings to the family. Hotep. 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 How, How you doing, doing? brother? Doctor Lean Bayjax. Um, today, um, just a um, mind blowing information you're doing. You know, keep up the great work you're doing. But um, my question is dealing with the Kundalini and serpentine um energy. Um, moving into the time we come in is. Does this have an effect on the um, nature that's really uh, that's happening now, the kind of um, extreme weather that's going on due to yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us yeah, newcomers, so quote unquote newcomers coming to this consciousness? Yes, it is. Um, let me explain. Um, the greenhouse effect is when infrared energy gets trapped within the atmosphere. 
Well, this infrared energy correlates to the red energy that rests at the base of your spine, which is the Kundalini itself. At the base chakra or at the root chakra, the color in which that is emitted is the color red. So what that means is, is that this energy, based on um, the infrared energy that is getting trapped in the atmosphere, is causing an upswelling of energy within you. And all those who are ready for this upswelling are ready for higher consciousness. And this energy is ascending up the spinal column, those 33 degrees. Hence the reason why they say yeah, Jesus died okay. at the age of 33. Reason why they okay. say that um, Alexander, the so-called great, died at the age of 33. Reason why there's 33 degrees in Freemasonry, the sovereign inspector general. This is what this is all symbolic to. So, yes, there's a direct correlation between what is taking place through what is called the greenhouse effect and your um, Kundalini raising. Mm-hmm. All right? And this is this this cast right here. One more for you, real quick. Um, are you familiar with the Paleo America? This is kind of new information I've been gathering around, seeing, understanding what the that kind of got the whole total connection of um, the the elves and the um, our original um, DNA, our original strain. Is yeah, that, you that dealing with like the twelve strands people? again? You talking about the twelve strands of physical DNA and then the twelve ethereal? or etheric strands of DNA, which would give us 24 strands. What is going right. on is that the Bible in the Old Testament tells you that there was 10 tribes of Israel that was cut off from the sight of God, and only two tribes remained, two tribes remained, and that is Judah and a um, mixture of Dan. All right? So Judah and Dan um, were the two tribes on which that was left. The other tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel, which is the 10 that, rem- um, that was cut off from the sight of God, is now in the book of Revelations from the Old Testament is going to be now seen once again, and it's going to be a renewal of the 12 tribes of Israel. This new tribe is talking about the 10 vibes of what is called non-coded DNA, which is now being recoded and rebooted and being reactivated within you to come together with the two strands of DNA. And scientists have found out that at one time they were saying that the non-coded DNA, which they refer to as junk DNA, had... Um, serve no purpose. However, they are now seeing the activation of these um, 10 strands of DNA. So hence, we now have um, the start of 12 strands of DNA, and some of us already have it. And like when you deal with like in fear situations, like when you react quick, like does that um, activate? Like sometimes like it would be dormant, and then like cause one time I was in a car, like when I was so-called in the street life and all that, and I had a shootout, but uh, I, I wasn't shooting or none of that, you know. The, you know, we, I was a young guy doing some, you know, things with me and my um, my, my boy. Um, but you know, we we was um, coming around this corner and these guys like ambushed us, you know, and we got lit up pretty good. But it felt like it was a force field around us. Could you explain that? Yeah, well, that was the um, your aura, and the aura is known to be a magnetic field or electromagnetic field. Um, what happened is that more than likely. Um, you or someone else, based on your thoughts at the time in which that that was happening, um, put up your shield of protection, which is your auric fill. So you was protecting yourself, not just physically, but also etherically, astrally. Because your etheric body is two inches above your physical body, and then your astral body emits at least three feet outside of your physical body. So you was pulling up your armor of God. You was protecting yourself. You and the other brothers who got ambushed, that was a way in which that y'all protected yourself. So you have to learn to do that consciously now. You have to learn how to strengthen your auric field consciously. The breath technique that we just finished talking about, which is 6363 or 7171, that strengthens your auric field. So if you breathe out for a count of six, hold it for three. Breathe out for a count of six, hold it for three. That would strengthen your auric fill. It will make your auric fill expand 10 to 15 feet after the 100 breath, as well as if you do the 7171 breath technique also. So just practice those breath techniques and give me a call next week, and um, we can talk about your new experiences. Okay, brother, we're going to go to the next caller. All right, peace and bless us. All right, um, 2800, you're now on the air. 2800, you're now on the air. Hello? Yes, peace. Hello, peace, brother. How you doing? Yes. Yeah. How you doing, brother? My question um is in regards to diet and 
like one of my main things with pertaining to like nutrients or particular foods that we as black people should eat is mm-hmm. like are there certain foods that we should eat versus you know the Europeans? And two, should we eat a certain type of food in the winter times versus the summertime? You know, being in this particular hemisphere and where I'm at, you know, in the northeast. And two, I yeah. want to know like what's your take on eating like yes, wheat? You have to be, yes, you have to be able to eat your own foods in season. Um, that is the best time in order to eat particular foods. So, um, during the springtime, you need to be having a lot of um, green leafy vegetables as well as also dandelion leaves um, on your plate in your salads, all right? Um, during the um, um, summer, going into the autumn time, you need to um, have pumpkin seeds from the pumpkins. Um, you need to have, um, uh, which has a lot of zinc, especially for the male, you have, uh, which is real good for um, memory also, um, as well as also watermelon, you know what I'm saying, melons, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, in the seasons and eat a variety of particular fruits um, and herbs and vegetables um, during those particular seasons. You know, we have four seasons, as you know, um, two um, solstice. You have the summer solstice and the winter solstice, and you have two equinox, the spring equinox and the um, and, um, autumn or vernal equinox. So um, that cross symbolizes where you can um, definitely um, – Correlate your foods based on those particular seasons and those times. All right. So yes, all right. and also learn the proper connections of food too. All right. That is another thing that we're gonna start building on. Um, just like um, um, proteins and um, carbohydrates um, don't necessarily go together, or starches and carbohydrates don't go together. All right. Um, uh, well, you know, so also learn it? your also learn your blood types because O blood type is um the oldest blood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, that's they back to over three hundred thousand years ago. If you have um A blood type then it's a Garvian blood type which dates back to about twenty thousand years ago. If you have um B blood type that dates back to about thirteen thousand years ago. If you have A B blood type that dates back to about two thousand years ago. So if you notice over the last three hundred thousand years, um the blood types have come into fruition, um, and the blood types is based on the different um, travels and us going from out of the diaspora, from out of um, Africa, and going into the various um, lands and based on the various climates. So, yes, all of this is important, you know, definitely. All right, we're going to go to the next question. Matter of fact, we got our brother Joel coming up. He's going to um, build with us on the science of alkaline water. Um, please come on. Um but before he come on, let me say this, that um, myself, um, brother um, Coach Kaye Love, as well as also Sister Myra L., we have a lecture coming up um, June 3rd and 4th um, in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, for those who are on Facebook, make sure you have those dates and make sure you come on and check us on out. Um, yes, 0180, you are now on the air. Yes, this is Sister Myra, so I was calling in. (laughs) Greetings, Brother Ali. Um, And I was coming through just to um, make that announcement that you just made. Oh, please do. Make it again because they need to hear it. They need to hear it. They need to hear it again. Come on. (laughs) I mean, if you want to come and get some more of this powerful information that uh, Dr. Ali is dropping tonight, you know, come to this conference on the 3rd and the 4th, um, you know, because this is more, uh, you know, we're going to have more of this for you. Um, like he was saying, uh, Coach Kai Ear, um, uh, Brother Eileen, and me, Sister Myra, you know, we want to uh, put down a conference that is all about healing uh, the human family. This is going to be a two-day conference. Um, we're going to be, uh, it's going to be located at, um was at 916th Street in Greensboro. Uh, And like I said, it will be a two-day event. Um, Everything that you want to indulge in that, um, you know, Brother Aileen is talking about now, you know, will be available there. Um, So come and get some more of this information. I'm looking forward, you know, to talking and working and, um, you know, just having a good time with the family. So, 
that's what I wanted to come through and and and, and put forth. Thank you, Sister Myra. And like she said, come on out and check us out. If you want more information, you all know Sister Myra. She's a goddess. She be dropping it on them, tearing them up left and right. Um, you know, so come on, check us out. You know, um, for those that have to travel, jump your behinds in your cars, uh, um, automobiles, and bring your behind on. Check us out. We're going to have the information posted as well as also um, it's going to be on Facebook and MySpace. And um, we'll see you there. Make sure y'all come in droves. We want droves. That means a whole lot of you. Okay? All right. Oh, thank you, Sister Myra. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to 1074. Peace. 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 Uh, two quick questions, Um, completely different almost. But one is, you know, being that I'm coming into consciousness with a lot of things and learning from brothers like you and Dr. Blair and Dr. Sabi and stuff like that, you know, it's like right. kind of I kind of look at you know the world like different, you know, like society and stuff, and you know, being a you know a single male and everything like that, like what, what's a, a good way to go about to try to find like a mate, you know, like somebody that maybe to see, you know, who's, who comes into right. consciousness who wants to learn and things like that, because it's really right. difficult. Well, the first you know, thing, the first thing, brothers, the all is mind and everything is mental. That means that every thought in which that permeates from your very being is the essence of what you dictate within life. That is what draws forth your destiny. So if you want to mate, right. that means you have to learn how to um, have your thoughts done properly. In other words, you have right. to draw and make. What I would do is write down the qualities that you would like to have within the mate. All right? In other right. words, learn the rules of manifestation. From thought is one dimension, to pen and paper um, is two dimension and then three dimension is when she's right there before you. Ah, all right. Okay. So that's the key okay. of manifestation. Key of manifestation. Right? And, okay. Right. So that's what you would do, and then work on the pranic breathing techniques that I just told the other brother to magnify your auric field, and the ones in which that can stand your light are the ones who will be attracted to you, and them are the ones in which that you want. Right. Okay. Why? Because okay. they can stand oh. your light. Right, right. That's what I'm feeling. Like, man, it seems like everybody dark around me, man. It's something. I don't know. I just feel strange. Like, right. so, yeah. look, look, you have to be the beacon of light in this dark age. All right, we battle against the principalities. We battle against the principalities of darkness. All right? Right. So, um, right. um we're going to go to the next caller. Brother Joel, are you here? You got a half an hour. Come on, line, brother, and break down to the people about this alkaline water. I leave most up. Please, God. Peace to everyone else out there. And you was flowing, man. I said you forgot about me. No, <laughs> no, there's a big so we, um, we just had to um, get everybody in. Go ahead, brother. You got a half an hour. We'll drop it on it. All right. Um, when I was last time I was there, I said something where I talked about the doctor that did the stuff with the words on the water. Come to find out, I made a mistake. It was not Duke Pukum who taught him. I meant to say Dr. Mona Harris. I just want to clear that up and get that out of the way. Um, I want to give a shout-out real quick to Alabala up here in New York because he's doing his thing, promoting different lectures or whatever the case is. All right, now that I got that out of the way, I wanted to touch on more with the water because I'm hearing a lot of people talk about, oh, there's chemicals in the canyon water and or with the over-alkalizing of the body. First of all, I don't know where people get that absurd stuff from. They going online, getting all type of stuff, which is not true, number one. Number two, the alkalinity levels, like I, I mentioned before, people like to say the primary source is the sun. But yet, okay, you got the sun, but most plants can't survive only with just the sun. They need water as well as of air. So it's a combination of things. So you have people that's coming out there talking about, oh, well, you don't need to do this, you just do that. Well, you've got to combine everything together. Now, one of the main important aspects I've got to break down of when you're eating your food, I tell people all the time, cook with this water. Because, like I said, I keep saying it, and I let people know, because I find I have the need to say it so people know and understand. I eat meat. All right? When most people see me, they think I'm a vegetarian, you know, until they see me eating a turkey burger or whatever the case is, and they're shocked. 
I eat meat. Mm-hmm. Now, is how you, like I always say, is how you got to clean out. You have all these people going up on there talking all this madness, but they got to understand everybody is different. Not everybody will just deal with me. Like I heard A.A. Rashid, big up to him again, when I was at the last sexual I opened for him, he was saying that what are you going to do when you're somewhere and you don't have the vegetables or whatever it is or you can't make your smoothie or whatever the case is and it only got meat and you got your little child with you, you want to let your child starve, your baby starve or whatever the case. So we need to start getting into an uh, aspect of knowing that we have these African tribes, right? When I check out these African tribes, the main thing that they focus on is clean water. Now, I don't know, maybe you could tell me, Eileen, is there any African tribes out there, indigenous tribes that only just eat vegetables? Because as far as I know, the ones that I see are running strong, winning Olympics, all this different type of stuff, they also eat meat. So mm. it's the way you're preparing the meat and how you're going about cooking the meat. Mm. Interesting. I see them all the time. They're using alkaline foods, but they're using acidic water. That don't make no sense to me. How could you be making foods that's highly alkaline or teas, certain teas, or like you brought up before, um, what's the stuff name? The blue-green algae, right? The chlorophyll. All these stuff is alkaline, but yet they're making it with acidic water. That really starts to feed in the purpose, in my opinion, from what I've seen and tests that has been done. You got to let people do what they do. That's why at, um, a homeboy of mine, I ended up teaming up with him. His name is Roderick. He's a raw veganist. And like I, I've mentioned him before, but like I said, a lot of times when people use these alkaline foods or whatever the case is, they're not really drinking the right type of water that's, you know, going straight to themselves. I am the ionized and, you know, take out all the, most of the acidity if it's meat or whatever the case is. This guy raw vegan for seven years, and he loved this thing because he felt the jolt as he started drinking so much, so he also bought a machine for me. Now, you have a Caucasian lady we, we met in um, a supermarket, right? Well, a health food spot. Now, she recently told him how she's starting to be more focused and she's getting visions, all right? So I'm like, wait a minute. Obviously, I already broke down what this does to the pineal gland, how it decalcifies the pineal gland. So I'm going to let the people, the listeners, put two and two together. If this Caucasian lady is starting to get visions or whatsoever be the case, because at first she was skeptical, but now she's hooked. And she's, she's not raw vegan, as far as I know, but she is vegan. My whole point is you got people that's eating meat, eating vegetables, and the water is doing so much for them on so many different levels. But a lot of people not understanding you have, like, I like the breakdown you gave with the chemtrails because I was listening. And the chemtrail breakdown is this. They have a, a lady in Texas, a Caucasian lady. She has a gelatin-like substance. I think they call it um, a gelin or something, disease, something like that. It's a gelatin-like substance. When you put it under, it comes out of your skin like a hair. It makes a bump, and it sticks out like a hair. When you put that under a microscope, it looks like almost like a shrimp under the microscope. This is a result from the chemtrails. Now, when this lady alkalizes her body using the water, she don't get it at all. A lot of people don't know they're spraying hard body out there in Texas and New Jersey. Those are the, one of the places I've seen, and there's a lot, especially people think it's only the black areas, the Caucasian areas. And most of these people are coming down with these symptoms or, quote, unquote, this disease. Now, when they drink this water, they don't have a problem. As soon as they stop drinking the water, they have the problem. So 
if, like I said before, if your body is 70% water, okay, which the scientists are now saying is 90% okay, and your brain alone is 90 to 95% water, the best reaction is, is to change the water. Now, I'm going to go over real quick because I really don't know how much, much time I have left, but... I want to break down on the crystals because I heard people was asking about that. You got two more minutes, minutes, and then if we go into overtime, another hour, Brother Joel. Oh, so I got time then. All right. Okay, so I ain't got to rush. Now I'm about to go in. Strap on TRC. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to focus on is money. Everybody's talking about, oh, we living in a third dimension, this dimension is fake. But yet they're still paying bills, they're still feeding their children, they're still doing all this, and they need money. I heard a guy saying on my job, oh, I don't need money. You know, he's into this whole, how you say, new age metaphysical thing. Oh, you don't need money. Money is nothing, blah, 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 blah. As soon as he heard the world is going to end, guess what he said he's going to do at his bank? Take out the money. So me and the next guy is looking like, yo, we thought you said the money don't matter. Why are you taking your money out? He started stuttering. So a lot of people got caught up in that end of the world thing. Now, you touched on aura, Darlene, and that's very good that you touched on that. A lot of people don't know how to deal with the auras, the frequencies, or whatever. Now, there's auras on your body besides the ones just going up in line. There's the aura in your hand, your left hand and your right hand, and then there's the aura underneath your feet. The one underneath your feet, most people call it the root chakra. Sorry. Soul, soul chakra or seed chakra. Most likely it'll say seed chakra. Now, you could get a breakdown of the etheric chakra. When you're getting a breakdown of the etheric chakra, most of them will tell you anywhere from... One going all the way to 12, all right? But it's higher than that. It's a report of 24. Some people have got reports of 30-something. Now, it's probably higher. I don't know for sure, but I'll say about 34 is the limit of what I heard. What I'm going to do now is give you out certain crystals and tell you how you could combine it with the can of water to start bringing money into your life because... Since I've been using it, I've seen a great difference. And anybody else that I gave it to, uh, buy the crystals from me, they've seen a huge effect. Now, let's go down. Let's say, which chakra should we call first? All right, let me say this. Number one, anytime you start seeing gold in your aura or platinum or silver, that's where you start reaching higher levels of your chakras, the only regular seven chakras that we know to hear, especially when you're seeing white. Most likely they'll say white, you know, is generated more from the hand chakras. That's when you're activating them. When you notice you could touch people, give them chills, turn energy, get energy. That's when you're activating that vortex at a higher point. Now, since I always said since I've been drinking the water, I noticed my aura has been rising. When I went to the get the aura pictures, I'm seeing gold, silver, platinum, turquoise. I don't even know what turquoise is on the etheric scale, but I'm seeing turquoise in my aura. All right, the first stone, I'm going to give you a breakdown on. This is a stone from men. It does with abundance, so women could use it too. It's called pyrite. The name of it, let me give you the spelling. P as in Paul, Y as in yarn, R as in right, I as in ink, T as in Tom, E as in elephant. All right? It gives off a masculine energy. Um, it will help you with willpower, whatever it else it does. It helps with what people call the third chakra, which is really the solar plexus, the solar plexus area. This stone right here, do not put this one in your water. 
<laughs> Let me start off by saying that because it could create a poisonous type of effect and you just might die. So let me just get that out of the way. But you could put it next to the water and the water could absorb the energy or whatever it is. This stone helps you with abundance. Put a, a piece around your neck or just carry it in your pocket, whatever the case may be, and you will see a difference. I don't like much talking on stuff like these. I just give the information, and once people get it from me, I like to get their feedback because then they can see I'm not lying or jiving them. The next stone is Peridot. This is a very rare stone as well. It's not easy to get a hold of. I'll give you the spelling. P as in Paul, E as in Edward, R as in rat, I as in ink, D as in dog, O as in octopus, T as in Tom. All right? This stone primarily deals with increasing prosperity, period. It got an earth element. It also activates the solar plexus and the heart. You put this stone, you could put in your water. You put this in your water, you notice a huge difference. Like I said, I like to use the tangent water because the tangent water absorbs the energy, or whatever, how you say more, let's say, for, instead of saying energy, let's say frequency. It absorbs the frequency and it synergizes with the water that's in your body in the same effect. So basically your walking organ generator. That is important for people to learn, that your walking organ generator. The same aspect when you're making an organ generator, provide that with your cans and water. And you drink the water, do not drink the crystal. Yes, i got to put that out there because some people is ill enough to drink the crystal. Do not drink the crystal, all right? This one helps you with manifesting things. You could do some of the techniques that Aline just gave out to help manifest, and you can also hold this stone in your hand. Now, some of the stuff that I'm hearing from the conscious community, oh, we could just do all this stuff with our mind, blah, 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 but yet they're bigging up the erasures and all these other beings, and they saying, but yet they turn around and say, oh, you don't need these tools, you don't need that. But yet when you check these beings that were alive and the ones that are spiritual, you always see them with a certain with a certain tool, a sword, a knife, a hammer, an axe, all right, uh, rocks, <laughs> whatever the case is. These stuff are just catalysts to help give you a boost. After a while, you might not even need it because it's synthesized with your DNA. That's very important to know. That's why when I went to a crystal convention, all right, the place was packed. I got the pictures and I could show it. 98% of the people in there was Caucasians, all right? If it was 1% black, I would say less than 1%. If you could even break down what's less than 1% were African descent. The rest were Asians and everybody else, but... We need to start getting into this. And they have conferences, and they break this down with scientific data. These people are not spending billions of dollars in research to study no damn stone if it don't work. I'm going to repeat. They are not spending billions of dollars in research to study stones if they don't work. They're even doing work where they're studying on how the stones synthesize with your melanin. And like Eileen broke down on one of the shows before, once you start getting your pineal gland in a certain state, you could start making it where it could crystallize. Not calcify, but crystallize. All right? Diamond, because they say it's carbon based. So we all know carbon, coal, diamond. So that just makes sense right there. Okay? Now. Before I go on to the frequencies or and even breaking down any more of these crystals, I want to know, are there any questions? Yes, Brother Joel, 
Got one at the end of four, five, six, two. Um, you gonna get them online? You have a question? What's up, Joe? Hey, how you doing? Hey, man, how you doing, man? It's your boy from Don't Stop Production, Mano Colleon. What's how you doing, man? Hey, what's I'm going checking on, the man? Game. Yeah, I'm checking the game about the crystals, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to put me up on that, man, on the low low. You need to put me up on <laughs> that, right, man. I got on... you. Yeah, man, because you be slipping you on me, on man. Right yeah, well, I got man, a lot I of stuff. You. Like I say, I have a lot of information. I just didn't, don't have as much time to give it out. What's your question? My question is, man, you know, on this Kenji Water, you know, you was talking about the people, you know, saying that, you know, it's got something in it and et cetera. You know, I done ran across a lot of people that, you know, is very skeptical, man. They're very skeptical. They're very scared. And I'm like, you know, I see it in their eyes, man. You know, they don't, I, I I can't really explain it, man. I mean, it's like they rather be, they rather accept what they already have than, you know, try something new. All right. Why Let me is give you that? a breakdown hey. on that. Number one, I'm sorry. Somebody so I just want to say that what they have, in, when they test the water, even in New York, they found over 4,000 chemicals in it. So what they have is water that is that, that has thousands of chemicals in it. You know what I'm saying? Antibiotics, steroids, various pills. You know what I'm saying? I mean. These are the, this is the water, this is the tap water, this is the water that they want, you know what I'm saying, that they rather stick with? Yes, so man, even when I show it to them, you know, and I, I you know, I go through the test, I go through the bottle water, I go in the store and buy, you know, all the bottle water and show it to everybody, you know, I don't have no problem. And they still will be like, nah, man, I don't, I, I don't know what that is, you know. You don't know nothing about alkaline, man? That's the best water going for you. Now, I'm going to drink this smart water. Well, go ahead and drink that smart water if that's what you like. I'm not going to sit there and keep on trying to wake you up, you know. And it's like, you know, it's done touched me to a point to where I'm like, man, should I just leave him sleep? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You reach who you could reach. Number one, most of these people, they have their whole vegan thing going on you know, vegetarian or whatever the case it is, raw vegan, that's like one of the extremes right there where they don't cook their food to a certain temperature or whatever it is. But I'm hearing so much cases of people that don't eat meat, not eating soy either, but yet they got cancer. So that's not making sense to me. So when I, when I did more research and check what's going on, because I'm like, okay, you got people that's eating meat, they're getting cancer. You have people that's eating um, vegetables or going raw vegan, and they got cancer. What I got to find out is what Eileen was breaking down with the whole chemtrail thing, plus the, um, how you say, the aura of the people you're around. If they're very toxic, you're breathing in what they're breathing in, and the auric residue that they give off alone could, how you say, sour your system, make your system messed up. So if you're not a person that's walking around with crystals, listening to frequencies, or drinking high-powered water, then you're going to be in the dust. For those people, I don't even knock them no more because, you you know, you'll have people talk about stuff like structured water. They'll be like, oh, Structured water, and it's not um above the alkaline rate because you could over alkalize. And I'm like, yo, people that's over alkalizing their body are Caucasian. I don't hear no case of no African descent people of that happening to. But let's just play devil's advocate and say there is, right? Now let's look at the background of the Caucasian guy that over alkalized himself. He was using colloidal silver. Okay? I know a lot of people know about that already. He was using the, the machine and the fix and it did the stuff to his water, whatever the case is, and he drank it. This guy started turning blue. 
when he went and to the doctor, they said his body was highly alkaline. That goes to the breakdown of when they start saying when you're highly alkaline, you start turning darker, gray, or blue, black. All right? I said many times, I've always been a dark-skinned guy, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror more and more, and I'm seeing I'm getting darker. I'm like, maybe it's just me. Until I'm seeing people that's light-skinned that's drinking this, and they're talking about how they're noticing like they're getting attacked. All right? So with all this breaking down, I'm like, how is it possible that these people are drinking water, but they're creating a darkness like if they've been in the sun? That's when I pieced it all together. The body is also composed of light. The alkalinity of the water and the microcosmos that's going straight to the cell is releasing energy, which is a light energy. Aline just finished breaking that down. A lot of this stuff is common sense. But if you don't believe that, you could go online or go into the libraries and look this stuff up yourself. They have a conference on these. These people are not paying all this money. I'm going to say it again, to study crystals, to study the, what the Kangen water is doing to melanated beings. I already broke down Mona Harris, how they killed her when she was trying to give this information to the people, all right? They straight laid her out. Dr. Blair already talked about her many times. And get the DVD, Water and the Brain. You'll learn a lot. So all the stuff these people are coming with, I step back and I listen. I say, how is it that these Caucasians are now starting to pick up color. And then when I learned they test their DNA, they have a percentage of, how you say, African in them. So that means they still have traits of us in their DNA. So now all they need is a catalyst to give them a boost, activate that, and it's a done deal. I'm seeing people, these Caucasians, Indians, all the um, Asians, they're walking around with these big crystals around their neck wrapped with copper. People that's not in the know is watching them and laughing. But the people that's in the know, they ask them, oh, where can I get that? Who you got that from? You understand? They're starting to listen to frequencies. Now, it's going to have people that's going to start calling me a sellout or whatever the case is because now I'm looking to interact with them more because they want the information they use the information, and when they use the information, they see it works. A lot of people are just going out there doing a whole bunch of talking, but they're not putting the information into use. I had a guy, his name is Mike Lindo. He came from quite Bermuda. And, again, this is a Caucasian guy. You can't tell him he's Caucasian, though. He's going to tell you straight up, nah, I'm of African descent. He's going to tell you that straight up, all right? His brother got dressed, all right? Since he's been drinking the water, I looked at this guy, his complexion, his whole physical makeup. That's the next thing. The water, when you start drinking this water, you'll notice your bone structures start to change, all right? That's because your DNA, certain parts of your DNA is now unlocking. Any other questions? Hello. No, there's no questions, God. Um, you can flow though. You do, you, you know, flow. All right, cool. Now let me give you a next breakdown. My one of my favorite crystals. I call it the master crystal, azistrolite. You have a lot of people out there selling azistrolite. Some of it is fake. Some of it is low quality, but even though low quality is doing amazing results for people. So just imagine having a high-quality one, what it could do. Now, this one particularly goes to all the chakras of your body, especially the etheric chakras, all right, which, again, are above the head. It's particular that this 
a Zistrolite has, uh, how you say, um, a storm energy. So being that it has that storm energy, you could already imagine that it's a very chaotic stone. All right? Then you got a stone called Moldavite, which is a very powerful stone. It's really a meteorite. You combine those two together, you're cooking with fire. You put them in your water, I'm telling you, it's off the hook. You can do many things with this, whatever the case is, this, these two stones. Put it in your water, visualize, ask for what you want, you're going to see a difference. Like I said, these people are not using this stuff for nothing. All right? Now... The next aspect I want to break down on the water is a lot of people notice more heightened sexual activity, okay? Now, once your, how you say, mm. your blood is circulating properly, you're going to notice a difference in your energy level. You'll be walking around, this is for the men, You'll be walking around, and out of nowhere, you'll notice you start getting an erection, all right? You'll notice you're lasting longer in bed when you're having sexual relations with your mate. You'll notice a higher sperm count, all right? All these things you'll start to notice once you start drinking this water. Ladies, I can't stop hearing I'm not able to stop hearing how many of them are saying they'll just be there sitting down and it's like they got to go to the bathroom because they think they're peeing themselves. That's the vaginal secretion just letting loose. You understand? They notice they're getting horny and they're not even thinking about being with a man. So this stuff also has, uh, how you say, an effect on your brain. Again, your brain is 95% water. All right? So once this is working on your brain, you'll notice it starts releasing certain hormones, certain secretions from the brain that triggers this thing, which is known as a bliss. You understand? You've got to get into eternal bliss. So once you get into all this stuff, you'll notice a big difference. I just want to put the challenge out there for people to use this thing and see what's going on. Because, as I said before, I'm getting a lot of talk out there. And from some of them is people that we know and trust for a long time. But they're not really giving the whole breakdown of what's going on. They know about Mona Harris. They knew about her for a very long time. All right? But... They used to roll with her, and then all of a sudden you don't hear them talk about her no more. And they bashing on alkaline, the alkaline waters, particularly the Kangen water. Most of these people are the same ones that's been preaching alkalinity for the longest, all right? And they know the fastest way to alkalize your body is with water, all right? So there's no question in that. Now, most people say, well, I drink a water and the um, alkalinity is high. But yet the ORP is on a positive scale instead of a negative scale. That does not make any sense. When you're drinking water, the whole point of drinking water is to hydrate your cells. If you are not hydrating your cells, you will notice you're drinking this whatever water it is, that doesn't have a high um, ORP rate on the negative scale, you'll notice your aging, you notice more frequent urinations, and the urination might hurt or whatever the case may be. you notice you start losing more minerals, especially if you're using the distilled water. Because a lot of people talk about this to water, but what they don't know, it leaches minerals from your bones. All right? Now, again, I'm hearing stuff that, well, it's not what I'm hearing, not just what I'm hearing. I know it to be for a fact. 
they say when you eat meat, there's some um, bacteria or viruses or whatever that forms and starts dealing with the brain. The name escaped me of them at this point, but that is true, all right? But these, how you say, uh, bacteria, whatever the case is, is not good for you, but it's on a positive ionic scale, all right? We all know all disease that attacks the body is negative, all right, which is, sorry, all disease that attacks the body is positive on the ionic scale, which is acidic to the body. So wouldn't it make sense to use something that puts your body in an alkaline form if no, we already learned this from certain doctors out there in the metaphysical community, all right? No disease could survive in an alkaline form. None of these viruses, bad bacteria could survive in an alkaline form. So if we notice, wouldn't it make sense to put proper water? That's, that's all I'm saying. Any questions out there? Oh, before I go on, Eileen. Hello. Yes, hello, slow God. We're here. All right. Um, um, some people are texting me. They say they can't hear no more. I don't know if it's on the. They're talking about on the phone or must be on the internet. So, for the people on the phone, just let them know they could listen to the archives of the show and catch more. Um, any um, questions? Okay. Um, we just text them. And the people who are on the switchboard, they can still hear, but those in the chat room, I think they're the ones in which that is having problems I'm um, hearing, but I think they can probably call in. Everybody should still be able to hear. Okay, everybody should still be able to hear, according to what my wife is saying. So, um, Zero, 8032, can you hear? 80032. Um, eight, yes. Yes, I can I can still hear. Okay. Okay. Thank you, and they probably can't hear in the chat room. Right. Um, do you have a question? Actually, well, I I could formulate one. Um I was I was just enjoying the energy that you all were bringing forward. And just to <laughs> speak on the so much now on the vibration and, and the power of of water i I had a plant that like a a palm kind of a plant that I brought in the house for the winter and I hope I don't get disconnected my battery's beeping but i um and I looked at it. And I said, and it looked dead. I mean, it looked dead, 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 dead. And this is not the first time this has happened in in my experience, but uh, on this life. But I, my spirit said, look at the roots of it. And I, I did. I said, them roots are alive. And this plant looked to be dead. And it hadn't been watered. I hadn't taken care of it. But it was still alive. I mean, this was months and months. And months, and I just went outside because I took it outside within the past month, and I put it in the ground because I'm knowing that it's really alive, even though it's looking mighty dead, not taken care of. Should have been dead by all standards. And needless to say, I saw some, you know, some new growth coming up from it. I mean, this was definite neglect, and in terms of that in relationship to us, in relationship to water, a lot of power in that water, there's a lot of power in the words, but just, even though when something looks, it looks like it's gone, you know, the doctor says, you're going to (laughs) die, your liver is, it's destroyed, Um, just think about the water, just water, and 
and doing many of the things that you all have spoken about. But like I said, I was, you know, I was just really enjoying, and I'm glad I was able to let you know that I could, I could hear you loud yes. and clear. Thank you, thank you. I'm um, also to add on about the science of water, um, in which that is, um, there was an experiment which that was done by a Japanese scientist, in which that brother Joel spoke about um, last week, in which that is um, Mosaru Emoto, in which that um, um, had connections to Mona Harrison, in which that she did the water on the brain, in which that, according to the experiment by Emoto, Dr. Emoto, what he did was to speak positive things into one glass of water and froze it um, underneath um, in the freezer and then looked at the molecules under a microscope, all right? When he did that to the one that he spoke positive things into, there were six-pointed star configurations, look like snowflakes. That's how the molecules look. And he was saying positive things like, I love you. Um, mercy, compassion, righteousness, truth, those types of words. Words in which, of course, you know, with feelings or intentions behind it can definitely create a thing into existence, of course, thoughts and things. Now, when he did another glass of water and he spoke negative things into it, harsh things, you ugly, you bad, I hate you, and froze that under um, froze that in the um, freezer, and then looked at the molecules underneath it. They seen that the molecules was discombobulated. In other words, it looked like a looked like blob, dark blob, had no structure to it whatsoever. So your words bring forth structure when it's intensified by your feelings, by your intentions. All right, this is this is what this is showing. Water has a spirit, as Brother Joel said. More than 90% of your brain is water. Your spinal column is more than 85% water. Your physical body is more than 75% water. So you are an aquatic being. So if you chat, chant, or do mantras or hakahu or hesis of positive words, words of power, sacred words, and you say all these positive things to yourself, then your molecular structure will configure into a pattern of a six-pointed star configuration. That's what this is actually showing. When negative things are said at an individual and they are taken to heart, then they can cause all types of mishaps and cause a dis-ease actually in the physical body based on the organ in which that is depleted of energy. So these are things that we have to be very um, conscious of. Brother Joel, do you want to build on anything? Go ahead. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Basically, with what you just said, it has Dr. Blair, I believe he was on Brooks' show recently, and he brought up Mona Harris. It was April uh, April 5th show, and he brought up how the breakdown of how you could put energy Life force energy into oxygenated water, highly oxygen water, which is alkaline water, all right? But you got some doctors out there talking about where you could just take any water and do whatever, which is not so. You're seeing better heightened effects when you use a water where the ORP is on a negative scale, the microclusters are smaller and the alkalinity is higher. Why is that? The scientists still do not know. And I, my personal self, do not know. I'm still doing more research. All I know is it happens and it works. All right? Real quick, what I'm going to go into is some frequencies. Now, I leave, I gave you some frequencies before. Before I even go in, because I want them to hear from somebody who used it, you could tell them the effects on what happened to you and what you got from the frequency? Um, yes, well, the frequencies was based on the various tones of sounds in which that affect 
organs within your body. So we had one to alleviate stress, which was for the brain. We had one to eliminate anger, which was in the liver, um, as well as um, we had love, in which that was situated to reprogram um, the heart, um, relationships, friendships, and associations. Um, we had various frequencies. We even had um, the ACE on frequency, in which, of course, as we may mention up earlier, um, no one has actually died of AIDS, all right? You die of the complications, which is about 25 various diseases, all right, ranging from cancer, rheumatism, arthritis, to um, pneumonia, all right? Um, they have all said that these are nothing more than symptoms of the AIDS virus. But we even had that on um, frequency. So... Um, not that anyone has AIDS, but like the thing is that based on the symptoms, it was still tapped into the um, same um, organs or frequencies in order to promote healing, and that's the key. So what Brother Joel is getting ready to talk about right now are those particular sounds of healing and tone, in which I gave an example of on how to heal a particular organ through the various sounds promoted by your mouth and your breath. But now we would get the chance to listen to or um, get more information on the particular frequencies. Right, Brother Joel? All right. Um, very good. So there's, there's frequencies out there that you could deal with tune and force. What I did, I mastered a way where you could put this frequency on disc and play it on your water. Now, one of these um, particular CDs that I sell is a high angelic frequency CD, all right? But before I go into that, I'm going to tell you something they say, well, really, the sophagy. Now, you had a frequency which is called 528 hertz, all right? 528 hertz is um, uniquely enough, come to find out, they use it to repair DNA, the scientists use that to repair DNA. You know when the DNA is like so far gone, where it's messed up completely and they got to do tests on um, the body when they find and it's decomposing or whatever the case may be? This is what they do. They play, they take the tissue substance and they'll put it in a petri just dish and they will bombard it with the frequency. All right, bringing back most of the, how you say, DNA cellular structure to life. Another strange thing about it, when they play these frequencies, they'll notice it start getting slightly alkaline. Now, there are people that use this and they put their, how you say, um, food, meat, vegetables, whatever the case may be. They'll put it on there, and it'll play the frequency. Um, if the food is not, let's say, a vegetable, mm, take an apple, for instance, and the apple is not organic, they'll notice it start changing the cellular structure of the apple once this frequency is played upon it. Now, I have people that listen to these frequencies and they just practically went into a whole nother realm. Some of them say it's frequencies they've been hearing ever since they were a child, okay? It's just that when they ask somebody, yo, did you hear that? The person's saying, nah, you crazy. <laughs> so they'll tend not to talk about it anymore or whatever the case is. When I reveal the certain frequency to them, they realize that they're not crazy, Okay, they realize that what they've been hearing all their life is real, and they learn to harness that energy and make it work for them. Now, one of the frequencies to clean your blood is three, two, one point five hertz. That deals with cleansing of the blood. All right, when you play that frequency. You start feeling like your veins are jumping. A lot of people will say in their genital area, even with the 528 hertz, 
a lot of people will say they feel the genital area might be getting more aroused or whatever the case is because of that's the blood flow. I think that's one of the reasons why they also call it the love frequency. This is not people from the outside that are saying this. These are scientists that call it the love frequency. So I'm going based off of them and what they say on that. Now, next thing which I realize, you have something called the high angelic um, and more angelic frequency. These are a branch off of the other frequencies just on a higher level. You know, you'll have do, re, mi, fa, la, well, si, do. Those are certain frequencies that in tune with the body. Do, which is really oot, is really should be pronounced oot. I don't know why they say do. That deals with the root chakra, all right, the the base. Then you'll have ray. With the ray, it deals with the sacral. Then you'll have me. Now, that one is the love frequency. When you listen to it, you surely hear go, it sounds just like that. That deals with the um, solar plexus, all right? That's the one they use to repair DNA. Ironically enough, when you check the frequency of the Kangen water, it reaches on the same level of that frequency. So I found that to be pretty amazing. Then if you want to enhance it, you could take a rose quartz or the same frequency, play on the water, and that's when you could see different miracles start happening. All right? You got fa. So is ud re mi fa. That frequency with the fa, that deals with connection and relationships, okay? If you're having problems with your relationships or whatever the case may be, play this frequency, especially if you're with a mate and you start fighting, whatever the case is, play that frequency. They will calm down right away, particularly it's because it deals primarily on the heart chakra, all right? Then you have sol. So, u, re, mi, fa, sol. That's a frequency as well. That's dealing with awakening your intuition, which also generates t- for the throat chakra. All right? Now, I've been particularly hearing a lot of great stuff with this frequency right here, mainly from ladies. Because certain things, especially when they suspect a dude of doing something, whatever the case is, they listen to that frequency, and ironically enough, they listen to the frequency long enough, they'll get the answer. And I've been hearing loads of results from it. Because, like I said, it's awakening the intuition. We all know ladies are mainly attribute with that, the women's intuition. So that's a breakdown of that. Then you got La. La is somewhat like the love frequency. The frequency, the number coordinates is changing around. Instead of 528, it's really 852. All right? That deals with, a, how you say, a spiritual essence, a spiritual aura. Ironically enough, that's the frequency that generates for the third eye. Then... You have the frequency that generates for the crown, all right? That's when you start having connection to spirit or the spirit. Or you'll be more, how you say, consciously disciplined, all right? Now, I'm going to give you the higher frequencies of that, which is known in the scientific community as in angelic frequencies. Now, what do they know for them to say angelic frequencies? Because these are the wordings that they use, all right? These frequencies, you'll notice when you start listening to them, you'll feel certain, uh, I want to give you the correct wording, 
almost like tapping on your head. Like if somebody just lightly just take a pointer finger and touching the top of your head. That's the different parts of your brain being activated. If anybody gets, I believe it's Arlene Baker. Arlene, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's your second DVD on Weather Wars where you were breaking down a harp and you also got in briefly to the, um, when people DNA will be changing, I believe it's on the Weather Wars Part 2, how they'll feel certain, like, touches on their head or tapping of their head. Was it, was it Part 1 or Part 2 you broke that down? It was Part 2, and um, it was at the tapping at the back of the head, um, at the medulla oblongata, at the base, uh, where the spinal column um, comes into the... Um, Skull area. That area right, was good. tapped on 25 times, three times a day. How much time? 25 times, three times a day. All right. Now, when I first learned that from you, I combined that with the frequency. I'm not even going to say what it started to manifest for me and the results I have. I challenge people to go out there and do it themselves. Like you said before, they could listen to the information, but they're not putting the practice into use, and it's a waste of time. Get the frequencies. When you listen to the frequencies, do the same thing what Eileen says with the tapping, and you're going to see results. All right? Now, there's one in particular. I'm trying to remember offhand. It's one that clean that cleanses quartz crystals. So I'm sure people already know where I'm going at with this since I say you have um, a quartz crystal-based skeletal structure. That's why it lasts for so long, many, 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 many years, all right? The brain also has components of quartz crystals, as quiet as it's kept. Unless you go into a school like Harvard Yale or one of these so-called top-notch schools, you're not going to learn this. Um, that frequency vibrates on a C note. It's 4096 hertz. That cleanses any crystals that you have that need cleansing, like the Z-Strolite. The Z-Strolite also gives off a frequency of that. That's why when you put the other crystals around the zistrolite, it not only cleanses, it enhances the um, crystals. Now, this frequency right here, you have to be very, very, very careful. First of all, if anybody gets any of these frequencies from me, I'm going to add, do not listen to it while driving, Okay. A lot of people have been get, reporting to me, and I know it to be for a fact because it's happened to me. You'll be driving, and you stop the car, and when you stop the car, you feel like three or four jerks. That's your different etheric beings catching up to you. That's when you're getting ahead of time. I can't tell you how much times I almost bumped into a car because of that because I'm thinking I'm still going, but I'm not going. I already stopped. All right? With this particular frequency here, I've been hearing people saying they've seen stuff from the corner of their eyes. I've been hearing people say they see stuff appear and, um, how you say, disappear. I've been hearing people tell me how they started going in all different altered states, especially when they're sleeping, when they listen to these frequencies and they're sleeping. Uh, next day, one person did, and I also did it. I used it on my job. I played the frequency. I put it at a very low volume, and I just watched the place clear the hell out. These stuff are serious. When it start tapping into the DNA and it start making its effect, it's a wrap. Certain people that's not vibrating on a strong level, they are not going to be sticking around. Uh, next. Thing I got to put out there. When you start listening to the frequency, these different frequencies, especially the one 
that cleanses quartz crystals, you're gonna have to be well, not just quartz crystals, period. You're gonna you're gonna notice that people start their some people that cannot handle the energy, you'll notice they have the same effect to you. They'll be more nasty, more rude, and they just have to get away from you. <laughs> okay? That is a serious breakdown right there. I witnessed it time and time again. I had to stop listening to the frequencies for a while because where I work, they have so much negative people and the reaction I see when, when they come around, they're not able to stay around. Or I'll be riding the train and it'll be um you'll have all the seats there and nobody will come sit next to me. Nobody. And the train is packed, and people want to see. I know I've seen them. They'll go somewhere else and sit down when the seat is available. Now, what's weird, I've seen a lady come sit next to me. This lady was a Caucasian. But then when I checked around her neck what she was wearing, guess what? Crystals. I was like, oh, I get it now. So the few people that sat next to me, I noticed, they start having that they've been on that level of frequency, okay? If the train is packed already and the seat get available and I sit in it, I'll go sit next to a person some of the time, not all of the time. Like I said, if the person is not vibrating on that frequency, you're going to see them start fidgeting. They start moving around or they're always staring in your face. It's something about the about you that's attracting them. That's the frequency and vibration that you're giving off. So be careful when you're using these frequencies because you're going to get a whole lot of experience that you never, you haven't ever experienced before, especially from people. Certain people that you've been trying to get close to for the longest, all of a sudden you might notice you start getting close to them. Those are for the people that wasn't vibrating at the right frequency. So now you build up your frequency to the level that you're supposed to build up to, and you'll notice you start attracting like-minded people, which is not much out there to say, by the way. All right, any questions on that? So I just gave a quick brief breakdown because I really didn't have much time. So any questions? I want to get the questions out of the way because I know I've got to have some questions on this. Well, you had a question, but um, I'm not seeing the hand up any longer. It's from a 910 number. Um, 2025, um, do you have a question? Hello, anybody there? Okay. Um I guess you have no questions right now, um, Brother Joel. You want to um, go on and wrap it up and um, tell everybody the conclusion and the things that they need to focus on, and um, you know. And well, um, first of all, let me let me give a breakdown. Um, number one, a lot of people been having difficulty of getting the tangent and water because not a lot of people out there is pushing it. For the callers, anybody listening, or they go back and they listen to the archives of this show. It has somebody out there, Arlene Bay, he's in North, North Carolina, am I correct? Yes. He has the water. Y'all can get it from him. For those who want to get any water, frequency, or crystals, my number is 347-595-3847. Um, any questions you have, Arlene, or dealing with the frequencies or the crystals, anything? Oh, no, I, um, you broke down beautifully, Ock, and um, everything which that um, we've been doing tonight um, correlates. And um, it's like we said earlier, it's holistic. Um, when we speak about the sun primary, just talking about by itself, we talk about in conjunction, like you said, with um, the water, uh, with breathing, with meditation, with the food, um, you know, um, is what's going to bring balance. That's my eye. You know, um, also... Melanin absorbs sound and um, sound frequencies and sound vibrations. So when you speak about frequencies, 
um, the ones in which that um, are able to be affected the most by them are melanated beings. So um, that correlates if you have a good amount of alkaline water in you and, and listen to those frequencies, and it will begin to start changing your DNA. Like you said, even Albion's are now um, coming up with three strands of DNA. Um, so it means that um, um, 12 strands of DNA that we were speaking about a little bit earlier is something which that um, can definitely be possible now based on the um, proper food as well as also the um, water, um, the sunlight, you know, and all of these things that we have to add in conjunction so we can increase um, everything that's positive for us. That's the alkaline water, the qigong, the tai chi, the reiki, the pranic healing, you know, um, you know, our whole what? You know, our whole mind frame has to change, you know, from negative to positive. You know, we have to think on the I am principle and begin to but um definitely saying positive affirmation, decrees and um, prayers on which that benefit us and not hinder us and be a block for ourselves or a barrier our own progress and our own um, future. You know, because we're the ones in which that control our destiny. And these are the key um, in which that we have come up with and which that can benefit you. These are solutions to life problems. You know, as Brother Noel said, cancer and water has been able to cure cancer. All right? Diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, you know, they're even listening to see for the cure aid, along with the frequencies, along with crystal and the particular um gems and stones. Like we said um, last week, um if you look at the leaf like um plate of gold in which it they wore around their neck, um it had twelve gems in it, twelve Jew. Um also if you look at the New Testament and the book of Revelation, um they speak about these twelve Jews once again. So um these particular stones um, are known even with his um, zodiac um, signs who have a healing effect to find um, a particular sign, myself and Joel or Aries. So um, just, um, the gem for us would be diamonds, you know. So um, these are things that you have to know, and these 12 gems or particular stones have healing effects, as Brother Joel was speaking about, and then how they amplify and magnify the water because remember, we talked about the intent of water, and then as you consume the water, being that your body is 75% water, brain 90% water, spinal column 95% water, you need this proper water to have the proper frequencies in order to produce not just regeneration, but also life, your productive system, because what is in um, it's uh, water, blood, plasma, you know, um, so... Um, these are the things in which that we need for life. This is life waters. So definitely, um, you heard Brother Joel. He gave you his number. Um, can you please give the number again, Brother Joel? 347-595-3847. Right. And those who want the water from me, um, y'all can contact me or my wife at 252-257-3588. That's 252-257. 3588, and this was those who are serious about um, amplifying and increasing and re-energizing, revitalizing, rejuvenating, and reproduction. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. Um, any closing statements, Brother Joel? Yeah, I just want to say real quick for people out there, because I'm getting a lot of calls uh, with the shipping of the water, I don't ship the water. I will sell the machines. If anybody is close in the area of where I'm at, they can get the water. But you have Arlene out there and his wife who deals with the water. So if they're close in your vicinity, you can get it from them. I'm trying to make this a global thing because there's a lot of stuff going on out there where people are trying to throw this water under the bus. You know, like I said before, the water been out for really 60 years, this water been out. The main company that's in the leading of making the machine that's giving you the best water out there, all right, people are trying to throw that under the bus. 
And this company don't even want to be put out there like that. They're not even trying to advertise. So that shit tells you a lot. That what what is it about this water that everybody's trying to hide or trying to hinder? Most thing I say, especially the people out there in North Carolina, I can't tell you how much calls I got from people asking me, does it deal with AIDS? Does it deal with AIDS? Does it deal with AIDS? And I didn't have nobody out there in North Carolina that had to be shamed. Now I do. When I asked somebody that's from there, they said it's very overpopulated with people that's having AIDS out there. I'm like, well, what's going on? They already got the breakdown of if you alkalize your body, none of these diseases are supposed to survive in there, especially if you're using it with the herbs like Aileen. You sell certain herbs. You combine the water with these herbs, and you get a stronger effect. All right? Last thing, any of these people that want to throw this water under the bus, you've got to ask the question, what are they selling and what are they trying to benefit from? And I'm just going to leave it as that. Try the water and make it work for you, and you'll see a big difference. People out there ain't got no excuse no more, Aileen. You're out there, you got the machine, so... They need to get it. Um, definitely. And um, as you know, we hear about solutions. That's what we are about. And um, that's why we teach. Um, that's why we started this Blood Talk radio show, Bring Forth Salute. You know, we were tired of um, second-hand individuals trying to speak on our behalf. You know, um, you know we can now. You know, we can um, speak on um, for ourselves. You know, so um, this is why this show was started. And, um, you know, make sure you get your questions in um, over these, um, you know, these next bills that we'll have, you know, on the radio, you know, and um, soon we're going to have um, Black TV, in which that we download these videos. And you can see Brother Joel, myself, and others um, 24-7, you know. So um, this is where we move forward. You know, so just stick with us and much, much more information. All right? When we get closed out, um, thank you, Brother Joel. Um, make sure everybody um, at Brother Joel's number as well as also my number. And um, please contact us, those that are really serious about um, health, serious about um, the science of water, and those that are really serious about healing. All right? Um, be out. First world order radio. Finally, finally, we are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that Buddha consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, getting your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intentions straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given. 
throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories, shit that works.